Okay, so today I wanted to talk about these ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Um, I made a purchase when they first came out. I bought four colors. Um, they were Beeper, Chili Chill, Limbo, and Tool. Um, and I got them because a lot of people were raving about them. They were saying they were really good for the price. Um, and the color selection was awesome. I am huge on liquid lipsticks. I love liquid lipsticks. They wear, um, for the most part, different brands that I've tried wear very nicely throughout the day. And that's convenient for me because I work eight hour shifts. Um, so it's nice to have something that you can throw on that you know is going to stay. Um, and it's going to be low maintenance. So I purchased these having really high hopes for them. And they were such a disappointment. The color, the pigmentation, the color range, that's all great. The price point, great. But they are just really, really dry. Drier than any other lipstick I've ever tried before. Like when you put them on, they, they like grab onto your lips and they start to shrivel. At least this is my personal experience with them. So I was really disappointed and I was getting ready to just throw them out. And um, then I thought, well, maybe there's something that I can do to adjust the formula and see if I can make it work so that I can at least wear it, even if it's like for four or five hours. Um, so after thinking about it, I thought about perhaps using vitamin E since um, a lot of the liquid lipsticks are already infused. The formula is already infused with vitamin E. It's really moisturizing for the skin. So I went to Trader Joe's and I found this vitamin E oil. And so I wanted to try and see how this would work underneath the liquid lipsticks. Keep in mind that usually when you apply an oil to a liquid lipstick or like a chapstick, it does end up changing the formula and sometimes it can affect the pigmentation. So um, I wanted to see how this would do underneath and surprisingly, this worked for me. Um, I just put a very thin layer on my lips before I apply the liquid lipsticks and they're a lot more comfortable to wear. I can almost feel the oil trapped underneath the um, liquid lipstick that I apply. And so I don't feel the actual formula of these liquid lipsticks really tightening down. It's actually very comfortable. And also something that I noticed when I wore this is um, it makes the formula, it slows it down in drying, which is really nice because especially for these more pigmented liquid lipsticks, getting it perfect the first time on application is very rare, at least for me, I don't have that good of practice in applying them and getting a perfect application. So going in with a second layer was just an absolute no. It was not going to work because it didn't layer very well and it would um, look really patchy or um, it would move. So um, when I applied this, it actually gave me more time to apply. And I noticed that it didn't affect the pigmentation of these liquid lipsticks. It's probably because of the, they're very pigmented. Um, and also they were very, they were more comfortable to wear than if I didn't use the vitamin E. They're still going to dry, they're still going to be drying, but at least now with this underneath, it's it's manageable, I can do it. So um, I wanted to share that quick little tip with you guys. It's a vitamin E oil, it's very inexpensive. I think I paid like $3 at Trader Joe's. You can find it on Amazon as well. So I'll go ahead and show you how it is that I use this oil. So what I have is just a, a Q-tip and I take the cap off of the oil and I'm just going to dip it in there and you just need a very small amount and you just apply like a thin layer. So I just apply like a thin layer over my lips and you can feel it. My lips are just a little more chapped today so I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit more and um, just apply it like a chapstick. I did try these um, liquid lipsticks with a MAC primer. I tried it with um, regular chapstick and it just ate right through it. Um, this was the only thing that it didn't it didn't do that. So let's see. Today I'll try one of the darker colors so you guys can see how the pigmentation works on this. I'll go ahead and try um, Chili Till. Um, forgive me if the application is not perfect. Like I said, I don't usually get it right the first time. So we'll see how this goes. So. 
so that's the application of the um, liquid lipstick. This is Chili Chill. On camera, it's coming off a little bit less. Uh, it's coming off more brown, but it's a little more mauve in person. It's a really pretty color. Most of these colors are really pretty. Um, and like I said, the pigmentation is great. So um, I went ahead and applied it, and it feels good. I can, I can feel the oil underneath. Um, and it's not uncomfortable and it will end up drying um, for the most part with the oil underneath um, it does have slightly bit of transfer once it starts to dry it's not too much it's not bad at all it's barely any but it, you will notice a little bit of transfer usually when you don't put anything under these liquid lipsticks there will be absolutely no transfer um, but again if you want comfort just go ahead and apply some of that um, vitamin E oil underneath and probably salvage these liquid lipsticks or even be a little bit more um, enticed to try to buy even more colors. So um, yeah, try out this vitamin E. Let me know how this works for you. Um, I hope it helps. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe. Um, thumbs up if you found this tip hel helpful or useful and if it worked for you, comment down below. And I have nothing else to share with you guys today, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.